Wednesday the 24th of July 2024 Welcome to Evening Prayer Above all powers Above all kings Above all nature And all created things Above all wisdom And all the ways of man You were here before the world began Above all kingdoms Above all Of all wonders the world has ever known, above all wealth and treasures of the earth, there's no way to measure what. my soul to your rest, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. Blessed be the Lord our God, by whose grace we are yet alive. Blessed be His Son, Jesus Christ, 
by whose rising we are set free. Blessed be the Spirit of God, in whom is our hope and our joy. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship be a witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. O gracious light, O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone, and so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant merciful Lord to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The psalm appointed for the day is Psalm 49. Hear this, all you people, hearken all you who dwell in the world, you of high degree and low, rich and poor together. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and my heart shall meditate on understanding. I will incline my ear to a proverb, and set forth my riddle upon the harp. Why should I be afraid in evil days, when the wickedness of those at my heels surround me? the wickedness of those who put their trust in their goods and boast of their great riches. We can never ransom ourselves or deliver to God the price of our life, for the ransom of our life is so great that we should never have enough to pay it. In order to live forever and ever and never see the grave, for we see that the wise die also, like the dull and stupid they perish, and leave their wealth to those who come after them. Their graves shall be their homes for ever, their dwelling places from generation to generation, though they call the lands after their own names. Even though honored, they cannot live for ever. They are like beasts that perish. Such is the way of those who foolishly trust in themselves and the end of those who delight in their own words. Like a flock of sheep, they are destined to die. Death is their shepherd. They go down straightway to the grave. Their form shall waste away, and the land of the dead shall be their home. But God will ransom my life. He will snatch me from the grasp of death. Do not be envious when some become rich or when the grandeur of their house increases, for they will carry nothing away at their death, nor will their grandeur follow them. Though they thought highly of themselves while they lived, and were praised for their successes, they shall join the company of their forebears, who will never see the light again. Those who are honored, but have no understanding, are like the beasts that perish. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 25, beginning at verse 23. When Abigail saw David, she hurried and alighted from the donkey fell before David on her face, bowing to the ground. She fell at his feet and said, Upon me alone, my lord, 
be the guilt. Please let your servant speak in your ears and hear the words of your servant. My Lord, do not take seriously this ill-natured fellow Nabal, for as his name is, so is he. Nabal is his name, and folly is with him. But I, your servant, did not see the young men of my Lord, whom you sent. Now then, my Lord, as the Lord lives and as you yourself live, since the Lord has restrained you from blood guilt and from taking vengeance with your own hand, now let your enemies and those who seek to do evil to my Lord be like Nabal. And now, let this person that your servant has brought to my Lord be given to the young men who follow my Lord. Please forgive the trespass of your servant, for the Lord will certainly make my Lord a sure house, because my Lord is fighting the battles of the Lord, and evil shall not be found in you so long as you live. If anyone should rise up to pursue you, and to seek your life, the life of my Lord shall be bound in the bundle of the living under the key of the Lord your God. But the lives of your enemies he shall sling out as from the hollow of his sling. When the Lord has done to my Lord, according to all the good that he has spoken concerning you, and has appointed you prince over Israel, my Lord shall have no cause of grief or pangs of conscience for having shed blood without cause or for having saved himself. And when the Lord has dealt well with my Lord, then remember your servant. David said to Abigail, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who sent you to me today. Blessed be your good sense, and blessed be you who have kept me today from blood guilt, and from avenging myself by my own hand. For as surely as the Lord, the God of Israel lives, who has restrained me from hurting you, unless you had hurried and come to meet me, truly by morning there would not have been left in Nabal so much as one meal. Then David received from her hand what she had brought him. He said to her, Go up to your house in peace. See, I have heeded your voice, and I have granted your petition. Abigail came to Nabal. He was holding a feast in his house, like the feast of a king. Nabal's heart was merry within him, for he was very drunk. So she told him nothing at all until the morning light. In the morning, when the wine had gone out of Nabal, his wife told him these things, and his heart died within him. He became like a stone. About ten days later, the Lord struck Nabal, and he died. When David heard that Nabal was dead, he said, Blessed be the Lord who has judged the case of Nabal's insult to me, and has kept back his servant from evil. The Lord has returned the evil doing of Nabal upon his own head. Then David sent and wooed Abigail to make her his wife. When David's servants came to Abigail at Carmel, they said to her, David had sent us to you to take you to him as his wife. She rose and bowed down with her face to the ground and said, your servant is a slave to wash the feet of the servant of my Lord. Abigail got up hurriedly and rode away on a donkey. Her five maids attended her. She went after the messengers of David and became his wife. David also married Ahinoam of Jezreel. Both of them became his wives. Saul had given his daughter Michael, David's wife, to Palti, son of Laish, who was from Galim. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Magnificat 
My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Saviour. For you have looked with favour on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Romans, chapter 14, beginning at verse 13. Let us therefore no longer pass judgment on one another, but resolve instead never to put a stumbling block or hindrance on the way of another. I know, and am persuaded in the Lord Jesus, that nothing is unclean in itself, but it is unclean for anyone who thinks it unclean. If your brother or sister has been injured by what you eat, you are no longer walking in love. Do not let what you eat cause the ruin of one of whom Christ died. So, do not let your good be spoken of as evil. For the kingdom of God is not food and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. The one who thus serves Christ is acceptable to God and has human approval. Let us then pursue what makes for peace and for mutual up upbuilding. Do not for the sake of food destroy the work of God. Everything is indeed clean, but it is wrong for you to make others fall by what you eat. It is good not to eat meat or drink wine or do anything that makes your brother or sister stumble. The faith that you have, have as your own conviction before God. Blessed are those who have no reason to condemn themselves because of what they approve. But those who have doubts are condemned if they eat, because they do not act from faith. For whatever does not proceed from faith is sin. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Suffrages Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and teach your leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and the servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us, that in us and through us your will may be done. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, creator of day and night, giving rest to the weary, renewing the strength of those who are spent, bestowing upon us occasion of song in the evening. As you have protected us in the day that is past, so be with us in the coming night. Free us from evil, sin, and fear, for you are our light and salvation and the strength of our life. To you be glory for endless ages. Amen. Grant, O Lord, that we may be faithful to you without turning aside, 
worship you without growing weary, serve you without failing, diligently seek you, happily find you, and forever possess you, the one and only God, blessed forever and ever. Amen. Prayer of Dedication Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your holy word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light our paths, and a strength to our eyes. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit. And in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us evermore. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.